Hey! Hey, please! Please, get us out of here. They're doing terrible things. They use us for tests, expose us to the sun. Some of us have even been operated on. If we stay here, we'll die. Or worse. Help us. We haven't done anything to deserve any of this. I was just in the militia. Okay, I demonstrated against the Technomancers, but that's all. Calm down. I'll get you out, all of you, but I can't break the door down. Do you know who has the key? A Technomancer, of course. They're a leader here, I think. He's really powerful and heartless. It's horrible, Roy. I didn't think we Technomancers were capable of such senseless atrocity. I don't feel like I have anything in common with them anymore. These people are sick. Their thirst for power has taken the place of their humanity. Do you think I might become as callous as them? Lose my head? You're a bit odd, sure, but no, you're not like them, Mary. Don't worry about it. How'd you end up here? It was just after the demonstration. I thought things were okay. I didn't have any trouble when the leaders of militia were arrested. Then one morning, Source Security showed up at my place. They arrested my wife and me and took us here. She died after they did horrible things to her. What'd they do to you, exactly? I was lucky, in a way. They only put me out in the sun a few times so far. I thought I was gonna die and I'm covered with blisters, but that's nothing compared to what they did to some of the others. They feed us strange things, disgusting water, pieces of flesh that looks human. Some people had mutant parts transplanted onto them. Most of those people died. They also made the women get pregnant by mutants. We never saw them again. Please, get us out of this hell. Any idea what's making them do this? How could I possibly know what those madmen are thinking? They aren't human anymore. You may have heard something. Nothing. Just the screams of my friends. And that's more than I wanted to hear, believe me. I'll be back. As soon as I can.
What are you doing here? You have any idea how important the research you're interfering with is? Research based on the horrible experiments carried out on Aurora's citizens. I recognize you now. You were at the source when I was a child. Still so sure you're on the right side, huh? That you're always right? Still so full of yourself over your abilities, I guess. But I'll teach you. I'll show you your place.
just us now. Please hurry, some of us need help. Here, I finally have the key. Take it and free your comrades. Thank you. Thank you a million times. Wait, you're with the Resistance, right? You could say that. There was this guy who was part of it too. He was a prisoner here. His name was Sam, do you know him? No, so I guess he's dead then? He said all kinds of strange things. About a deal with Abundance and how they were going to attack Green Hope to help them. What? He spoke to someone called Marco. He said he succeeded. That Abundance agreed to help them. Sounds crazy, right? He must have been raving. Thank you again, in any case. A man that recommends killing traitors while making deals with Abundance on the side? It's not easily explained. Come <laughs> on. 
Hmm, what is... Show me what you... With... You want something? Follow me. All right. Yes? I... I won't... So, did you get to the Shadow Line? Did you free the prisoners? Yeah, I found them and freed them. And I found out some interesting things about the site. After what we've just done, I'm not sure we need more information. We're going to be able to enter Shadow Lair and attack the Source. You want to leave soon, right? You wouldn't want us to still be around when Abundance shows up, would you? What? How? One of the prisoners heard about your alliance from some dying guy. A former member of the Resistance was your liaison with the other guild. How could you do that? Don't you see? It was the only way to weaken and disperse the Technomancers enough so we could hope to defeat them. Abundance is ready to support the government we'll be setting up. And with their help, we'll finally have a chance. At the expense of Greenholm, which has already cost Aurora a lot of blood. What does that matter now? Aurora doesn't need Greenholm. What we really need is freedom. A future. And you really believe Abundance's promises? Don't you think the only thing they're interested in is getting a hold of this site? Maybe. But once we have the source, we'll set up a new government. A government of the people. Then we'll be stronger than ever, and Abundance won't be able to do a thing against us. Roy, you know that without me, the Resistance would be nothing. That I'm ready to give everything for it. If we let traitors off the hook, it'll mean the death of the Resistance, remember? And you didn't just betray your side. You betrayed the Guild. It's not treason. I did it for the good of the Resistance, of Aurora. You can't kill me, Roy. What will happen to the Movement without me? So long, Marco. I never would have believed he'd betray us. I think he really wanted to help the cause, despite everything. Maybe, but he landed us in a pile of shit. We have to leave Green Hope as soon as possible and take the source by force. The Technomancers were hit hard, so we have a chance to take them and we can't pass it up. We'll go then. You want one of your friends to come along? I'd like Mary to come with us. I keep asking myself why you drag her along with you. She's, uh, bizarre. Never mind, we may be able to put her talents to use. We're finally leaving Greenhope, fleeing before Abundance gets here, after shedding light on the activities of the Technomancers and weakening them. Not only did we sabotage their excavation site, but we also discovered the inhuman experiments they were carrying out on the defiant citizens of Aurora. We've won enough here for now, and hope they'll fall, along with the dowser that's backing them, so they'll have to confront their madness. I was even able to give the mutants here a hand. It may seem almost trivial, but it's still good news. Especially as I have lots of regrets. I would really have liked things to have turned out differently. I wish Marco hadn't betrayed us, that I hadn't had to kill him, that Greenhope had stayed ours. But we have to go on to the next chapter and keep moving forward. My dear Mary is with me, of course, as we march on the Source. Her help and support will be invaluable to me. Because the Tyrant will be well protected, and it's time we settled a few scores. So, 
that's the source. All this wealth. But you've already been here, haven't you? This takes me way back, Judy. And I only ever got to see the areas reserved for the Technomancers. I didn't have access to the government offices. It doesn't matter. We'll find the Dowser. It's time for the Resistance to confront the oppressor of the people. The tyrant will be judged for his crimes. We have to be careful. Failure is not an option this close to victory. Defeating the Source's guards isn't going to be a cakewalk. I'm not worried about the guards. So he who has no fear has nothing to lose. <laughs> I ask myself sometimes, what are you looking to gain fighting with us? Innocence was put to death in front of my eyes. He didn't deserve to end up like that. Wisdom in his thugs will pay, I swear it. Roy, revenge can destroy you. It's a darkness that can devour you from the inside. I liked innocence. He was a pure soul. Avenge his death if you have to. Not for revenge, but for the future that he wanted. <laughs>